Hi, this is Robert Bolaños. Welcome to another video on uh, Power Electronics. Uh, this is a, a video prompted by the fact that there is a new simulator available. Uh, it's a very powerful simulator. Okay, and the simulator that I have been uh, recommended prior to this has been Top Spice. And uh, of course, a lot of people are using LT Spice because it's free. But I don't like LT Spice because it doesn't have a library. I do prefer Top Spice, that's my go to simulator. However, uh, now there is MicroPack by a company called Spectrum a Software, and they have MicroPack version 12, 11, and 10 available and they did need a key a hasp key now you don't need a key okay and it's the full version which means that you can simulate large circuits and that all depends on the amount of memory that you have okay a uh, thing that I really like about this uh, simulator is that the simulator comes with approximately 45,000 parts in other words it has 45,000 models which is great uh, one of the drawbacks of the LT is that it has a small model or at least they only have the models to lin linear technology and advanced uh, devices I believe Okay, and another crucial thing is that it has the models that were developed by Christopher Basso. So all the models that he has in the book, they're in the library of the uh, MicroPack. And in addition to having the library, uh, there's also a wealth of the examples already uh, worked out. Okay. Now, not only does it have a large library it ha and it has the switching models or the, 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 the models that Basso has developed, they have both the average and the switching models. The average, you can use them to do AC analysis, which allows you to do a loop analysis, basically find out what the phase and gain is. And then with the switching models, you can do the transient analysis, so you can simulate voltages, currents, and so forth. Now, like I had said before, top price is the one that I've been recommended. And if you're a student, you can get it off for 50% for off for $300. Or if you're a practicing engineer, the full price is $600. But MicroPAP has basically the same capabilities of top spice and it's free so in this case it's a no-brainer it's a no-brainer and it has all these advantages that it has a large library has the switching models already available and and uh, and you're able to do full simulations okay so you can go to their website and if you go to the website this is their spectrum software and if you notice here here it says that it's free no key needed and it looks like th this was a small company and the owner has decided to retire and right here it says thank you for the honor and privilege of serving you for the last 39 years so he decided to shut down and his simulator which are here these sold for $4,500 $4,500 okay mind you I bought a copy several years ago for version 10 and I paid about $4,000 at that time 
for this version and now it's free okay so as if I was you I would download version 10 11 and 12 before they take down this uh, website and 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 uh, keep them in a safe place and I would download the full version because the full version or this full CD has the executable files but also has these other files okay basically the help files okay so be sure you follow the instructions and uh, and and install it and uh, and run it okay so here let me go ahead and uh, I had already done a uh, a circuit now this circuit is a duplicate circuit that I had done on top size and the reason that I did that was I want to compare the simulation time between the results between top spice and micro pack and also the simulation time okay so so right now let's see hang on okay so you can see this is a schematic this is a flyback and I'm using a switching model here I'm using the UC1845 now just to get this model is a big endeavor I mean it's really big uh, as a matter of fact there's other models switching models that you that you can use for example if you type in UC see so you can use the 42, 43, 44 and then you can also use the 29, 42 let's see there's also a SG models uh, these are not it let's see but, I, but you see it's basically let's see what happens you put PWM okay see these are uh, Pulse width modulator. This looks like a macro. So there's a well, an abundance of simulators here, or not simulators, but pulse width modulators. Okay. So so it's got a, a uh, quite a bit of a uh, of uh, parts that you can use. Not only does it have uh, integrated circuits it has all your uh, basic passive components zeners and if you notice down here on the lower uh, left you have the schematic or the symbol here's the diode transmission line the K so forth you have devices active devices like a transistor NPN PNP MOSFETs and so forth your sources so you have quite a bit now what's interesting here is this uh, switch mode power supply so you have uh, amplifiers this would be like your CMOS uh, drivers controllers here's uh, a controller that would be a PWM here are the ones that are developed by Basso and then there's the voltage bolt. These are bustles too. In addition, they have other uh, switching and average models, and they also have the models from Copac, which is the University of Colorado. So you have a bunch of parts, basically 45,000 parts. Okay, so that's what really makes it very powerful, uh, indeed. Okay. Uh, you can name nodes you can double click and you can type in the name of the node that you wanna name it in this case I put out here I put error here comp iSense gate drain okay once you have the circuit and you wanna simulate it then you go to analysis transient 
and then you're gonna get this dialog box and this is where you set up your time okay the maximum run time I'm gonna run it for 10 milliseconds and then with a maximum time step of 100 nanoseconds and then here this is the Y expression X will always be in time although you can probably pick a different uh, variable but time is you, when you do a, a transit analysis is time so here's your Y expression so if I want to see the voltage at out I would uh, put the parentheses if you want to see the current let's say through a resistor then it would be I then parentheses and then the value or the number uh, the ref that's of the resistor but anyway so here uh, I'm plotting V out on the first one and V1 on the second but then I want this both two to be plotted together in the in the first plot and then I have V comp V error I want them plotted in the same uh, plot on two and then I have I sense which is the current on three the drain on four and the gate on five okay and then if you want to see all of them you make all of these green and all of them will be uh, plotted in this case I wanna I just wanna see V out V in and then drain and actually these three uh, these these two so I'll I'll zero this out these so I have four plots press and if you notice that's pretty fast okay and then you can uh, expand them you can put tag or measurements let's say if you want to measure the time from here to here a little tag right here okay you can also measure the peak okay which is very neat and you can also do other functions um, like measure the slope and so forth anyway then you can go to the windows and do a, a ver uh, tile vertical vertical tile that way you can see the waveform and the schematic okay so we got that so now what I want to do is I want to go ahead and compare the switching speed between or oh, the simulation speed between LT Spice, no, Tough Spice and Micropack. Well, not Micropack, but Micro Cap. Okay. So I'm going to press Tough Spice first. And it's also simulating at the same time 10 milliseconds time step of a hundred so this should be fairly equal so I'll press that press that there this one finish and then LT finishes afterwards okay so here's a simulation of that very similar to this except I didn't show this I can not show this well, let's go ahead and do that this is the comp v opto let's go ahead and show that or run that Comp and opto. Let's 
See? There's that. Okay. So, that's this too. Okay. So, the results are very, very, indeed, close to each other since they're both based on the Berkeley Spice. And best of all is that this particular uh, micro uh, cap is free. It is now in the public domain. And uh, the author and probably the owner of the company is Andy Thompson. He's the one that founded the company, Andy Thompson. And uh, he decided to retire after 39 years. And he gave his software that he has worked on so long for 39 years and he has given it to the engineering community. So we all owe him a great uh, thanks for uh, uh, making this public. Uh, on a side note, I do use and have this version at home, or not at home, but at, at, at work. And we bought this for 4500 a couple of years ago. And I have version 10, and that's what we paid. So this, you can say that this version 12 is at least worth $5,000. And he's given it free to the engineering committee for everybody to use. So I think that's something very, very noble and something that should help the engineering community not only the engineering community but also students learn how to use the simulator anyway uh, that's what I wanted to show uh, hopefully you'll get some really good use use it there's a bunch of examples in there oh let me go ahead and show you real quick there's a bunch of examples already in the library or in the data they have uh, switching models so they have uh, like a forward uh, they have let's see what other stuff they have they have uh, small signal models of the switch of the of power supplies like for example a buck so you have all of that in here that you can learn from and then they have also other stuff uh, RF, uh, vacuum tubes, uh, uh, power conversions. See, they have a buck boost circuit, buck converter. See, so you run it. See, so it's very, very fast. Anyway, I hope you get a chance to use it, download it before they take down the website. And, uh, and secure those copies and uh, learn how to use it. If you have any questions or comments, you can uh, send them to rbola35618 at aol.com. Uh, you can drop me an uh, email there or you can post your questions here on your YouTube, uh, my YouTube channel. Thank you for watching.